We are not making your old school meatloaf. We are reinventing a classic here, my friends. This is my char seal glazed meatloaf. All right, so a couple of things with meatloaf. Um, one, we don't want it dry. Two, we want to add like a sticky glaze because like that makes everything better. And then we've got a whole other bunch of like little sprinkles and pickles and so many things that makes this meatloaf so much more special. That's why I wore my fancy dress. <laughs> well, like the fanciest dress and earrings to make meatloaf. But anyway, um, it's a special meatloaf. So the first thing we're gonna do is work on some breadcrumbs. So I've got some panko here, and I'm actually gonna add like a chicken stock cube. So this guy is going to make things a little tastier, um, add a little bit of more of like a savory umami kind of hit. So we're gonna just crumble that in. And now add in some water. Now you just want to give that a mix and we're just going to let the breadcrumbs like soak up all of that liquid and this wet breadcrumb mixture, this is what's going to keep our meatloaf really nice and soft and juicy. So let's get on to making the rest of the meatloaf mix. Uh, now I've got a mixture here of pork and veal mince. I like that mixture because you kind of get the fattiness from the pork um, as well as the flavour from the veal and the pork together. And now flavor wise for our meat mixture here, I'm gonna make a, um, a little sticky sauce which is gonna go in here plus act as our glaze. So I'm gonna start off with some Chinese char seal sauce. So this is like the sauce that Chinese restaurants use for like Cantonese barbecue, um, you know, uh, red uh, barbecue pork, those sorts of things. It's like sweet and tangy. Now I want some ketchup here as well. And then just give that a mix. So half of this goes into my meat. Now because I like to sneak in vegetables like wherever I can, because I'm a mom and I'm trying to get my kids to eat vegetables like constantly, uh, I'm gonna go in with some grated carrot here. You could also go in with some grated zucchini as well, that's also good. And I just wanna grate this coarsely because I like to see the little chunks of carrot in there. I think it adds some nice color. Now that goes in with my meat mixture. And then I want to add a whole lot of like fresh herb flavor here because that's going to make things even better. Some spring onion, some coriander. Oh, and now we're already looking so much more fun in there. Um, I need to add an egg in here as well. And those breadcrumbs we made earlier. Now finally, don't forget about the seasoning here. I mean, we wanna add as much special as we can here. So I want some salt, really good hit of salt here, guys. And some white pepper. So you could go in with some black pepper, that's totally cool, but I like the white pepper because it gives me more of that kind of, um, I don't know, Thai, Vietnamese kind of flavor to me. And now just give that a mix. Okay, so I've got my baking tin here and I'm just gonna give it a little spray here. You could just brush it with oil as well. And then just to be extra sure that we don't get any sticking, I'm gonna pop in some baking paper. Now just scoop that out into your tin. Smooth that down a little bit. Now this goes into the oven for 30 minutes and then we're gonna do some glazing. So in the meantime, we're gonna make a really quick pickle. So, I mean, this is totally optional, but you know, we're trying to be a little fancy with our meatloaf today. So um, just take some carrot and you just want some really fine slices here. I want some red chili as well. And now all we need here is a little bit of sugar, some vinegar, and some salt. Now just give that a really good mix with your fingers. I just wanna make sure that everything gets really nice and coated. And then all that needs is just the time that it takes for the meatloaf to bake. And then we're gonna have a lovely little fresh pickle to go on our meatloaf at the end. 
So now our meatloaf is kind of part way done. Not quite ready for Instagram just yet. Uh, all right, we've got a lot of liquid going on in here and that's cool because, you know, we are going for a nice, you know, sort of juicy kind of meatloaf, but I don't want too much liquid because that'll bubble up and kind of spoil our glaze a little bit later on. So I'm gonna pour some of this off. So I'm gonna pour most of it off as much as I can. And now just get in here with your glaze. And you wanna pile that on thick. So just get all of that glaze on there, all the rest of that. Just brush, brush, brush. Now this goes back into the oven for another bake for 20 minutes, but then I want you to put the grill on really high and give it like a final five minutes under the grill so that the glaze on the top gets kind of a little bit like charred and burnished, just a little bit. All right, so this is now starting to look like a very special meatloaf. We have our lovely glaze on top here. It's looking nice and sticky and shiny. You do wanna let this sit for like 10 minutes um, just because it's a little hot in there and uh, still a little kind of soft. So let that set for 10 minutes and then we'll come back and slice. Now I'm just gonna lift this out now so I can sort of just drain off some of the juices. Okay, so we have our meatloaf sort of half dressed for the party. Now I wanna get some toasted sesame seeds on here. and some chili flakes. And now we can get slicing. Now you can use whatever salad dressing you like. I just happen to have my um, Japanese uh, ginger and sesame, which I love. So that's a nice kind of like tangy addition. Okay, so we want our slices of meatloaf here. Definitely want to grab a whole bunch of that um, really tangy, yummy pickled carrot. So there you go, friends. Not your average meatloaf, uh, a pretty special meatloaf, I think. Um, but let's get in here and have a look. So just want a nice chunk here, some carrot. You know what's so good about this is you kind of get, you're getting that like beautiful Chinese barbecue kind of flavor. And then you've got this really super soft, super juicy meatloaf going on. And that pickled carrot is so good. Mm. I like it very much. Yum. If you've got any comments or questions, pop them below. And if you enjoyed the video, why not hit that subscribe button plus the little bell one and that way you'll get notified every time I release a new video. Thanks guys.